it's Kristen and I have another total rehaul for you. For those of you that are new to the channel, first of all, welcome and thank you for being here. Second of all, um, the, a total rehaul is when I go back and look at a haul that I've posted a while ago, pull all the products and then come back and talk to you about those products. The, the point of this is because sometimes these products don't make it into a faves or a fail and they just kind of fall somewhere in between or sometimes they were featured in a faves or a fail and so it just gives me an opportunity to talk to you guys about the, the products a little bit more in depth. So let's go ahead and get started because I believe that I titled this haul epic Sunday haul. Um, a lot of times I will put those videos up on Sundays. Uh, I don't know why, it just kind of happened but at any rate. Let's just get going. Um, okay, so I have, the first things on there were four MAC lip products. Two of them were lip liners and two of them were lipsticks. And I wanna show you, um, one of them is the lip liner in Night Moth and look at how much of that <laughs> I have used. I really love this. This is kind of, this look, which was Night Moth and then with the lipstick I'm going to show you here. I'm trying to give you a nice good swatch of it. Um, that's what Night Moth looks like. This kind of became my sort of signature fall winter look. Um, oops, this is the wrong one. And the lipstick that I purchased to go with it, I'll put it next to it here and then kind of over the top for you to see. Because it doesn't look like anything in the pan. It's a glaze and it's in Fru. So that's Fru right there. And then, and I did wear this in a couple of videos. So that's Night Moth with Fru over it a little bit. It's hard to tell here, but it's a beautiful, really deep lip. So I would fill my lips in about two thirds, uh, meaning two thirds from bottom to middle or top to middle, looking in the viewfinder so I don't, you know, poke myself. And um, then fill it in with fruit, maybe deepen it up on the outer corners again with the Night Moth. Just really, really pretty, um, deep, berry kind of a little bit of a vampy look. And then the other one was more of a brown look, and I wore this quite a few times in videos as well. And this was the lip liner in Chestnut. So I'm going to give you a good shot of that right there. So that's the, the shade in Chestnut. Pretty deep. And then I took Sequin, which looks like this, over the top of that. So that's Sequin on its own. And then, again, I feel like it's hard. To, it doesn't translate as well. I'm going to try to mix it together. It doesn't translate as well right there. Um, when I'm swatching it on my hands as it does on my lips. But if I can find a couple of screenshots, maybe I've sent them. Maybe I've put them here. <laughs> if that has worked for me. So that was what I had from MAC. I love them both. They were just gorgeous lip combos this fall, winter for me. Um, I'm, I'm excited to start breaking out some more spring colors, let me tell you. But I really do love... Uh, deep lip with kind of some dimension, which is what I felt like both of those had. All right, the next thing was a bunch of Estee Lauder products. So the first one was a Pure Color Lip Volumizer. It looks like this, and it is not pink, just so that you know that's just how the applicator looks. And I'll show you, it's just a, it's just a glossy sort of product. So I do feel like this plumps up your lips just a little bit. It's nothing like some of those, um, what are those, Too Faced products where you feel like your lips are going to come right off of your face. It's nothing like that, but um, it does volumize them a little bit and it adds a little pink color. I don't think it gets as pink as like the Smashbox O stuff or what is the other one? Like the Dior lip balm that puts color on your lips. I don't think it's quite that strong, but it does give your lips some really nice color and I have enjoyed that product. The other two were, were I, I don't know. The one was a fail and the one was okay. So they were the lip, I'm just trying to look what they're, lip potions, I say a lot of lip potions. So you can see the color through, through this right here. This one was a full on fail because of the applicator, this particular one. This is the one in Strange Bloom. And while I love the color, it's a really pretty red shade, this applicator, you can't, you need to be very precise with this. And it's not like you can take a lip, I mean you can kind of take a lip brush and but it's not meant to be done with a lip brush like maybe a lipstick is. I, I don't know. I could, I had a really hard time getting this to apply neatly and stay put where I wanted it to stay put. So just, just not my favorites. They do sort of leave a stain and they wear off okay. They don't wear off patchy, but not my favorite. The other shade that I had is in Pierced Petal. And this one was much easier. I just didn't love the shade as much. I need to um, get more of a neutral shade, I think, but they're, 
there it is right there. It does not look quite that, I'm gonna see if I can blend it out to see if you can see. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like on the lips, but I like this one a little bit better. I, I think, like I said, for these, my suggestion is like a nice, neutral, easy to apply lip color versus a deep, dark lip color. And then you would maybe be happy with them. But so those were kind of a, nah, I didn't love them. I didn't, it's kind of why these videos are a good, a good thing to talk about because there are things I liked about it and definitely things I didn't like about it, but they didn't make it into a favorites for me. Next thing was a holiday. This, by the way, this was posted on November 1st. So this is about four months worth of trying products. And I think I like that a little bit better than six months. I, th I feel like four months maybe is a little bit better time. Uh, for me personally, a month isn't a long enough time. I know lots of people like to do a month. Um, maybe I could do more like three, but at any rate, I'm going with four <laughs> at this point. So much information game. All right, so the next thing was the Be Envied Lip Kit, and this was for holidays, so it's not available anymore as far as a kit in these little minis that I know of. If I can find it, I will list it below for you guys. But um, I've talked these to death. I think these made it into the Pure Color Envy um, lipsticks from S.A. Lauder made it into my favorites this year. They're just, uh, I really, I love the formula. That's why I bought this kit, because they gave me a few more shades, um, you know, without spending as much as four shades would, would be. My favorite out of here absolutely is Intense Nude. And I'll swatch that one more time. You guys have seen me swatch that and wear it quite a bunch. You can probably, I don't want to break it and turn it up too high, but it's just a stunning shade. It's really, really nice for, particularly, I, I mean, I think it would be pretty on any skin tone, but for some reason it just seems to work really well on my skin tone. So, uh, I, those were, I loved, love, love, love those. The next things were uh, four things that I bought from Cam Cosmetics. One was the Untouched by Time Moisturizer. I just showed that in my empties. This is a new one that I have purchased. This is just a little, even a little bit more hydration than the Illume, if you've used the Illume in the past. Um, and all of the, that's, and the Illume is a step up from the Elixir. So it kind of depends on your skin type. If you have more oily skin type or younger skin type, like Elixir is better. But I loved this. As, as you can see, I purchased another one. That's what I, um, will be using at night once I work through all of my other sort of back stock of samples and that sort of thing, which is what I'm trying to do. If you've watched my Use It Up videos, you know that. Um, the C of Difference is the vitamin C serum that I use. And so I, I think I was, I was out when I got this, completely out and I started it. So this is a good, um, if this started November 1st, that gives me a good idea of how long one of these lasts, because you never really know. So I started, that, that posted November 1st, I remember using it that night. And so November, December, January, February. So four and a half months is how, how long one of these. And I will, this is a, probably another week's worth of product in here. So almost five months, which is really good. And then um, another milk cleanser. I've talked about this to death. This is the only cleanser that I use morning and night. Um, love it, love it, love it. And then the last thing that I purchased was another Trist. I was like, where is it? Another Trist, which is the my favorite lip lava from them. And one of probably my top four. It probably is my favorite lip gloss of, <laughs> of all time. It just is really, really good. Um, okay, then I had an order from Sephora. I had I bought another Dry Bar Detox Dry Shampoo, which looks like this. This is my favorite dry shampoo. I've talked it to death. <laughs> I know it's expensive, but man, it just is the only one that really, really works for me. Also in that video I showed, and I, I showed this recently in an empties, uh, was the PHD Travel Size um, Dry Shampoo. I'm trying to, let me just see. Living Proof PHD Dry Shampoo. And it was a little travel size. Really, really liked that one. That one didn't give as much volume, but it did seem to, I almost could go, I usually will only go like a day one and a day two. That absolutely let me go a day three. Um, it just didn't have as much volume as I feel like this one does. So those are definitely my top two dry shampoos, the Living Proof PhD and then the dry, um, the dry Bar one. All right, here's a product that I did not like, really. <laughs> and this was the, I kept them in the box, the Smashbox Step-by-Step -step Contour Trail. I don't know, I think it's just, I don't know that these are necessarily bad products, but the creams just aren't my favorite. I've played with these a little bit. Um, I've thought about doing a video so people could kind of see what I was talking about, and, and I may still do that. But for instance, this is the highlight one. When you put this on my skin, and I'm, 
I'm fairly fair. I'm very fair. And so that's what it looks like there. When you blend it out, it just blends into nothing. And so it doesn't really add any highlight at all. I, I don't know. Um, the bronze one, which is the, you know, the warmer of the two shades, that one is really orange and even, it's, it's tricky to work with. The contour one I do like, and that's this shade right here. I'll put the bronze one next to it. The contour shade I do like, they're, they're very creamy and they do blend into the skin, but I feel like they almost blend too much into the skin and tend to disappear a little bit. But the kind of, of the three shades, and I'm trying to blend this out a little bit for you here there the contour one works a little bit better than any of the rest of them but definitely not my favorite I don't really suggest those um, you'd have to be really really fair I think for them to work I don't know or maybe I just didn't put enough <laughs> I don't know. The next product is the Urban Decay Vice 4. I do think this, I did actually just look for a friend of mine. This is still on sale on Urban Decay's website uh, for $40 versus the $60 that I paid for it. Although I think I got it at 20% off. I just opened this and had to wipe it away a little bit. I traveled with it. Not like, I mean, just like stuffing a car into a cabin back out. I mean, and it did, it kind of did a little bit of number on some of the shadows. But in case you haven't seen it for some reason. That's the Urban Decay Vice 4. I did do a four looks, one palette with this, and I do like these. I don't like the shades that are more glittery in it. I feel like those fall out onto your face and don't perform as well as the other ones, but the shimmer shades and the matte shades, I like them. I, there are a few, so I wish that, and I, like I said, I'll link the, the review in the video that I did below, the four looks that I did below, but I do kind of wish it had a transition shade and a brow bone shade in it, but overall it's a nice palette, a relatively complete palette. You can get at least four looks and I could I could have gone further with it than four looks but at any rate I do like it it is still available and at forty dollars versus sixty I do think it's a good buy so uh, the last thing I had on there was the Bite Beauty lip kit that they came out with this year they come out with these at holiday every single year and I'm so glad that they switched to this formula which is the matte lip cream I think is what matte it's called cream lip crayon I had to look so I really really like this sadly most of the shades only come in the kit but as you know just kind of as a for instance that's the one in toffee they're, they're very nice and creamy I, I probably don't need to swatch them for you because i did that in the haul aubergine is the only one of these four that is permanent which is too bad because they are there are some really nice shades in there so maybe they'll bring some of those ones to there but that formula for me and i've said this before as you as you start to age um if you like the shade and the wearing in the like the the wear power the longevity that is the word i'm looking for kristen um the longevity of a matte lip product um but as we age a gloss looks a little bit better than a matte lip product and i think that just adding a gloss on top of one of these is very nice and i have done that a ton where i you know i really like the color that comes in a matte lip product or one of these like glace and then i would add a, a, a gloss on top of it so Kind of keep that in mind, but those they are really nice. So much better than the the high pigmented lip crayons. I think is what they're called. The, the or what they're called the ones that have a little more gloss in them. Those tends to tend to bleed into my lines, and these matte ones do not. So just heads up on that. I feel like I've been talking really long. This is probably gonna be a long. One. <laughs> oh well, there was I had a lot to haul. It was an epic haul. I suppose it'll be an epic rehaul. So I just grabbed a couple of these brushes from the Wayne Goss Holiday Brush Set. These are really really nice. They're I. I am very happy that I spent the money on these. Um, the the brushes are so soft; they blend so well. This is the you know the face one that is bigger than the original one, I guess that came out. It's the number one brush. Re I, I just love. I don't think that there's a brush in there. I feel like I have a couple more crease brushes than I necessarily need from from his collection, but the ones that come in that kit are very. Um, the, the kit is very complete, I, I feel like, and it, it gives you enough. And and that's another video that I may do at some time um, where I show you guys how I use all of the brushes. Okay, but well worth the money, in my opinion, the Goss brushes. They're very expensive, but for me and my love of brushes, <laughs> they're well worth the money. So, um, all right, the next thing that I showed was these two shades from the YSL. Um, they came from an influencer, and one of these actually is what I'm wearing today. And I'm wearing the shade 09 today, and these are the Rouge Pure Couture, if I remember correctly. Yes, they are. 
and they're very nice. Very, very nice lip sets. They feel very nice on the skin. This one I'll break out more in the summer. This is the one in number 19. I, I think I wore this maybe only once, but I will enjoy wearing that in the summer. So this is what I'm wearing today, and then this is the number 19. Um, very, very, very nice. I, I, I'm trying to think that what just went through my head there is, um, Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy or these, I, I still would pick the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. I think they are price wise. I don't know if they're, they're similar or I would guess the YSL is a little bit more expensive. I'll, you know, list it below. Of course, no, I really feel that the, the Estee Lauder ones are, they just wear a little bit better. They apply better. I like how they feel a little bit better on the, on the lips, but these are also very, very nice. I just price point wise, if the YSL is more expensive. I'd go with the Estee Lauder. The next thing that I have um, were some polishes that were um, sent to me by my friend Lindsay, and they're from 9-0, and the, I, I love this one, which shows up a little bit more Packer Green on my nails than it does in the bottle. Beautiful. I had that on my toes for a while during, <laughs> during Packer season. This one I have not worn yet, and this is the, oh, and this one was in Cypress. This one is in Cricut. That one I've not worn yet, so I can't speak to that. But this one is a top coat, and it's Halo All the Things. And in the fall, a couple of times, I would have a dark polish on at, um, that I have them put on at the salon when I wasn't doing gels on top of my acrylics. And then to kind of freshen it up after a few days, I would put this on top and it was stunning. I got so many compliments. Every time I put this on, they would ask what polish I was wearing. So I really, really like this top coat. It's a lot of fun. All right, the one thing that I have not used from this haul, which is pretty good for me, I usually come across a couple of things I haven't used yet. Uh, this is the new, the Unique 3D Moonstruck Fiber Lashes. Um, I will, I will, will try this, I promise. I just had put it off because I had other mascaras opened and wanted to wait until this quarter to do it and just haven't started it yet. So I, I will report back on that. And then um, a couple of things that the Beauty Junkie had sent to me. Some of these made them in, made into my favorite. So these were sent to me by Beauty Junkie. Uh, you can tell. I love this one for putting on my Pamela paint pot. I use it every single day and it's the mini angled brush. This comes as part of a kit. There are five brushes in here. These are so nice, you guys. I really, really like these. I use them for all kinds of things. I've done them more for like spot when I'm trying to, you know, I've, do, I've put on my concealer, but maybe there's a little area there that needs a little bit more concealing. Um, so this pointed one is really nice for that. They're, they're just, they really work well. I tried them a little bit to kind of blend in, um... The, the Smashbox things, but they were too small. The bigger ones worked better for that, but I love this kit. I think it's great. And there is, I do still have a coupon code till the end of this month that gives you 25% off, I think, one brush or one kit, but I'll have it below and all the, the deal with it. And then the other one is the brow brush. So that has a angled on the end and a brow brush here. So I generally use a pencil and so um, this is this is a very nice brush. I did use it a few times in a powder and it works really well. It's very similar to their one that comes in the kit that's just an angled brush like this. And I love that for um, eyeliner or getting something up into my tight line. So this is nice for me for travel because it kind of has two brushes and one in one fell swoop there. All right, and last but certainly not least is the Benjabel Organic Brush Shampoo. I love this. So let me just show you. This was November 1st. I started using this right away because I believe this showed up in my December favorites or November, one or the other. <laughs> but I started using it right away. So it is February 15th today and that's how much I've used of it. And I wash my brushes every seven to 10 days, depending, give or take. And I still have this much left of it. You hardly have to use any and it works so, so well. I, I love that. It, that was one of the best things probably of this whole <laughs> of this whole haul. Too bad it was at the end. So I hope that you guys enjoyed that and that you still enjoy these rehauls. I will continue to do them as long as it seems like people like them. Um, any information I will of course have listed below. On my face today, I have the same base as I have had for ever and ever, amen. It's almost gone, you guys, which is going to be sad and happy all at the same time. On my eyes, I have the Makeup Forever Artist, Nine Artist palette. I don't even know the actual name of it. And I just have this shade right here and the inner and the outer two thirds. And then I, I put my brush in both of these two shades here to kind of deepen up that outer third. I really wanted a brown, but it was just staying within the palette. And then I used the same bronze shade beneath my lower lash line. On my cheeks today, I have the Wet n Wild Rose Champagne Blush. I haven't even hauled this yet, but it looks like that. And I have the Becca Moonstone Highlight. 
that's that delightful <laughs> little glow. And then as I said, I have the YSL Rouge Pure Couture. And did I grab the wrong one? I did. In number nine, which looks like that. And I think that is everything. So thank you again for watching. I hope that you're having a great day. And in everything that you do, be beautiful. Bye.